Hello folks, it's me again, Kate, uh, doing one of these little chats, uh, Last Homey House chats again, and um, it's a quick one because I'm going soon with my son and his wife to see um, the Star Wars film, uh, The Last Jedi, uh, which um, I'm really looking forward to. Um, they've already been to see it, which I'm a little bit cross about because I'm supposed to see it before anybody else. But hey ho. So uh, I'm back now. I always imagine that you guys are all watching these in sequence. You don't have to <laughs> if you don't want to. Uh, but I'm back now from Lancashire and I'm back for Christmas. And uh, this is a cat called Rita. And my son's girlfriend's called Rita, but I named the cat before I met Rita. And there is another cat. That's Norma. That's two of the cats. There are four cats. So, yes, I am going tonight because it's the last night I'm going to be on my own for a little while. Because tomorrow my dad is coming. My brother's bringing him. And he's going to come and stay for Christmas because we are the winter solstice today. Uh, the shortest day which always um, makes me think that we're on the getting towards the right side of the year. And I've just come back from, as you know, from a prolonged period of time in Lancashire with my, at my parents' house, which is, you know, it's my, my parents' house. It's, it's decorated how they like it. And, and it's, you know, it's kind of like a little bit boring. Or it's my house is not boring. My sparkly, sparkly uh, chandelier and my lovely decorations, they're not just up for Christmas. No, they're up all year round. I like my sparkly, my colourful, my bright, my shiny. I like lights. Uh, if I wasn't going out in five minutes, I would have lit the candles. And so my dad's coming up tomorrow. Uh, and he hasn't been up here for years because my mum hasn't been well enough to travel for a long time. So now that he's on his own, he's coming up. And I'm just hoping he's going to be okay and he's going to like it. So that chair there, that one, that one that the cat's on, I just bought that chair yesterday. There's a place in Hexham uh, where I live which does um, takes in old furniture from people. It's a sheltered workshop. People with learning difficulties sort of renovate them, do, do them up if they need any doing up and then sell them back again. So I bought that one yesterday. Because right, <laughs> it's right by this wood burning stove here, which is so cosy and so warm. So the idea is that my dad will sit in that chair. Hopefully, uh, he'll enjoy the warmth of the fire on a cup of tea in his hand, and he'll have a cat on his knee because he won't be able to get by in this house without a cat on his knee. This one, she's five, Rita, and she has a sister, Prudence, who's somewhere about. Because the last three cats were named after Beatles songs. So she's lovely Rita. I have Dear Prudence. And then Sexy Sadie is hanging around somewhere. And then Norma, uh, the way I name things. I do name things in quite a convoluted way. But anyway, Norma's mother's name was Margaret. And at that time, I was naming my cats after uh, conservative ladies. So that we could hate them without uh, if they did something beastly like pee all over the floor you could be mean to them I know that's very petty and very uh, silly but that's what I did so dad's coming up tomorrow it's going to be interesting he's hopefully staying for a few days because it's it's the 21st today so till Christmas and beyond a bit my nephew and his uh, family will be coming up for uh, Boxing Day and for a few days then uh, I went shopping today and having decided that I wasn't going to go over the top, I went shopping and I came back with nearly 200 quid worth of food because that's what you do when there's just two people in the house for Christmas, isn't it? Apparently. <laughs> Apparently it is. <laughs> anyway, uh, things are uh, settling down a little now. Uh, it's been a, uh, a mental few weeks, I'll say that now mental uh, but now uh, things are starting to settle back down again and we've got to the point where we are now moving into the next phase of life 
we'll see how that goes. So because I've been so busy and up and down traveling such a lot, I have absolutely ignored Christmas altogether. I had not even noticed Christmas was coming up. So no one's getting any Christmas presents. No one's getting any Christmas cards. Uh, there'll be Christmas food if people turn up for that, they can have that. So if you if you are in the vicinity, pop by, I'll light all the candles. That's going to be an interesting one because my dad retired many years ago from the fire service where he was the, the chief fire prevention officer for Greater Manchester. He's not very happy with candles, so I might just have them off while he's here. I might have to do that. So my son's coming around in a minute to take me to um, the cinema. That's good. Um, Star Wars, big Star Wars fan. Big fantasy genre fan. I think you might have picked that up by now. And so um, I just thought I'd clock in because it was my promise that I would do these as uh, regularly and not let the, you know, not, not drop the ball on these. And, and I haven't. <laughs> so today, shortest day, very, very dark, but very, very sparkly. I'm here and full of hope and optimism for um, what hopefully will be a really interesting next chapter. So I'm well within my 10 minute rule. I hope you're all impressed. <laughs> I'm going to go and get ready now uh, because I'll be here in a few minutes. Um, no spoilers from me about Star Wars if you haven't seen it yet. That's it from this particular episode of The Last Homely House at East of the Sea. And I'm going to finish shoveling this down my neck, which is my salad that I'm eating before I go. And I will see you next time. OK, thank you for watching. If you watch these it makes me very happy. <laughs> OK, bye now. Thanks a lot.